You gotta start venturing to these outside spots, boys. We getting old. Fuck Broadway. Fuck Broadway. Let's go to the Rusty Nail. Not like. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Rusty Bucket. <laughs> Chill out. <laughs> Chill out. Yeah. Chill out. Can we, like, Chill out. Can we like start a speakeasy in one of our basements or something? Yeah. Just build just... our own bar. Bro, that'll be dope. Please. It's just that the DJ is going to want to get paid. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. <laughs> Cause you know? I ain't coming in there with my friend. I'm coming in there with some niggas that I know is gonna rock the house. Mm. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. But like a, on some low key speakeasy shit type. And we just but charge also hell not money. like you know what I'm saying. Like True. like a little True. and some succulents and some. What's well, all right. Well, t- for that to happen, you have to br- you have to have the core people who are gonna show up every time and then bring the other people yeah. and then we ha- also have to think about this is this going to be a local thing or is this going to be one of those things where you know we tell the tourists because tourists always bring money Hell yeah. but you don't want but it with the tourists it. because uh, that, but, that but just blows your spot we wouldn't be doing it for the money we'd be doing it for a uh, spot. for the vibe but right okay for the, okay. the vibe that we're not getting on broadway in these spots outside all right then I we mean, don't sure have we to do it for the we're money, gonna have we're, really i'll do respect hey, we're gonna have to grow that group first grow that hey, group look. first then we make the speakeasy okay I'm and look. we can and honestly we could do that we grow the group first then once you get to about one to two hundred then we get up. It doesn't even need to be. Oh uh, no! Nah, it need to be people. one or two hundred because people gonna flake for a speakeasy in somebody's people, basement. Yeah, people gonna flake. 50, I, I 50, 50 of them showing up max. Out of one fifty, out of two hundred. Oh yeah, fifty showing up max for a speakeasy in somebody's basement. Fifty showing up max. First, why you keep saying? Know. Why you keep repeating know. speakeasy in somebody's? <laughs> <laughs> like like that's intriguing. Like, have I'm you like, never? All right, you've thrown I'm parties. Like you can't even fit a hundred something people. But you've thrown basement. parties. Okay. You've thrown parties. I have. And you've invited a certain amount of people. Okay. And how many people have shown up? Percentage wise. About half. Well, I have good turnouts at my party. Ooh. So. Ooh. My Somebody don't want to tell the truth. My show. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, my you have good turnouts, my, but, but, but the numbers that you invited um, versus the turnout. We've sold out the last two. So, um, I, don't okay. know, I don't remember. Okay. I don't remember exactly how many I invited, but what I can say is. We I, was, I wasn't even talking about no event. I'm we talking about a house oversold. party. I didn't <laughs> know you were selling out a house party. True story. True story. You know, fire marshal problems after a certain <laughs> And the niggas say I got, I got the, I got the fire department on speed dial. <laughs> Is that an accolade? That's how you know you had a good house party. <laughs> Check my resume, man. My house party's lit. We always get the fire department help called on us. We've been shut down seventy two times. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I usually have a couple hundred people come. No, that's lit. I'm playing. Like, I'm I am as well. I'm so sorry. That's oh, then, oh, oh. In that but case, then we... no, no. In that case, then you don't need our help for the speakeasy. Go ahead and th- go ahead and. But do I don't it, want it to be my speakeasy. <laughs> well, you can't <laughs> have like, all I mean, the people you know that come to a party. I, can, I'm I'm only, I hate when niggas I'm say they, they can so do it and they like. I don't want to. I can <laughs> only do so many things at one time, though. It takes a community. It takes a village. It, it always takes a village. I agree. I agree. I ain't going to make fun of you. I ain't going to make fun of you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I agree. All right, all right. You get the numbers. We get the shit. Yeah. Who's volunteering the house? Mm. The space. That's the most important part. Look, bro, yeah, the, you, you just that's said. That's the you hardest had, part. You just said you had 100 people show up to your event. That sounds like 100 people to ask. That was, those got- aren't 100 investors. <laughs> those are 100 people wanting to get fucked up at a reasonable cost for a vibe. All right, all right. So we find somebody with a hideout that's preferably still in Nashville. They're all douchebags. <laughs> you got a hideout. The ones honestly. that already have one are douchebags. And they do tear up. Nah, you, Depending you, on you got a hideout. You got a hot out. Bro, I've been to some like. You gotta, you gotta say, be hidden enough it. for the for the for the for the followers to not find you. Say, say it. What you got? I'm saying like I, I think it's like if you're in a location to where like I right, this street is like a bunch of wealthy motherfuckers or whatever, and like the cops don't fuck with house parties here, right? Because it's yeah. known like, hey, my dad fucking knows your sergeant, blah blah blah. blah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah. I feel like that's the type of vibe in some areas in Nashville, like buddy boys and stuff yeah. like that. Like, and it's you just know like people? so it's like if you. It, like you can either like pay like a hundred dollars to skip the line or you can sit there and wait for like three hours to get into this like yeah. house party but it's like it's not gonna get shut down because yeah. it's kind of hidden but it's also like because i feel like they know you know this what I mean? is what i've learned from living in nashville and going to parties if you don't live in a neighborhood with a lot of younger people true then you're gonna have to have space for everybody to park 
<laughs> oh, because that's their biggest thing: fighting and parking, parking and fighting, fighting and parking. Go hand in hand. They do. Like, they're like, because usually that's what gets them called is when parking gets out of control. Parking that's always fucks up. But I learned that in college. But you and I was like, strategic. bro, what the fuck? Once we started getting more elaborate <laughs> and getting like security and walkie talkies and shit, we would tell people if we knew that there was only like an acre or two of land or however the parking situation was, we would tell people to spread it out amongst the neighborhood. So like two or three cars on one street, two or three cars opposite direction and vice versa so that it's just spread out and looks like everybody has company over versus a big ass obvious line of cars backing up into the road and spilling out and causing traffic and shit. Yeah. And fighting for whatever reason. Yeah. Violence. Like, oh, that's everywhere. Yeah. yeah. Niggas love to fight. They don't, <laughs> they don't, they don't like to talk to bitches. <laughs> <laughs> right. Niggas love to fight. We really just, break shit right. and we break really shit just go out to like blow off steam and hit somebody in the face. <laughs> That's what we live for. Buck, buck. <laughs> you Niggas bump? out here buck bucking. <laughs> you bump me? Trying to fight? Buck, buck, buck. <laughs> you bucking me? Buck, buck. <laughs> I'll buck you back, niggas. <laughs> you so stupid. <laughs>